Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. We're out here on Silver Ridge Peaks and today we're going to be doing a bow hunt with the new Stenberg Takedown Recurve bow. So we used it a little bit yesterday over on Verhunga Savannah, but today I wanted to do a full bow hunt just because I usually don't do these here on the channel, but now is the perfect time. We also have the Queest Red Pro Electronic Collar. That way we can call in animals if we need to. But yeah, that's going to do it here for the intro. I don't have a lot to say. I just want to go ahead and jump right in. Now starting us off, we have a level 3 Pronghorn, 64 to 79 for his estimates, so he's giving us a fantastic shot right now at 38 meters, so let's go ahead and take him down here, so we do have the right arrows on, I'm going to be using the 5-pin um, um, bow side here, just to see how I do with it, like I said yesterday, I am not a bow hunter whatsoever here in this game, so we'll go ahead and just take that, and that'll be good, so I did practice with it a little bit over on the Parque Fernando bow range, and I did pretty well with it, honestly, so that was at 40 meters, and that's about what I was practicing at. So yeah, we got him, I did hear some mule deer over here, so right now I'm just trying to chill just to see if maybe they are still over here, I don't know where they were though exactly, they just gave off a mating call and then just kind of disappeared, I never actually saw them. But yeah, we'll go ahead and just stand up here, I think, and just get this guy, if they do flee, it's okay. So we got Vital Blood, let's get him picked up, and he will be a silver at 71.25. Got him in the right lung and the left lung, so that was overall a good shot um, at 39 meters there on this level 3 pronghorn. So let's go ahead and see what else we can find. And right here in front of me, we have a herd of bison. So there's a level 3, 136 to 153 for his estimate. I think he's about 55, 50 meters, something like that out. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can get him. They're kind of all over the place right now. Like they were going into the woods and now they're going back out of the woods. So I'm not exactly sure what they're doing. There was also a level 2 over here. So let's just see. So that's the level 3 and I think the level 2 is the one right beside him. Um, and yeah, it is. So 134 to 151 for his estimates. And now they're turning back this way. So yeah, I don't know what they're doing. Let's go ahead and get the bow out. We'll see if we can get him. He's going to be a bit further than I'd like. But we should be able to get him, I think. And yeah, we definitely hit him, and that looked fantastic, honestly. So 50 to 75, yeah, he is definitely dropping there. He is aggressive, but he is not going to make it over here to us before he yeah, ends up dying. And then let's see, I think the rest of these were females. Yeah, that's a female, that's a female. So the only one over there was the level 2 and the level 3. Let's go ahead and get him picked up, and he is going to be a silver at 142.42. Got him in the left lung and the right lung, so that was a good shot at 54 meters. About 45 meters away, we have another level 3 pronghorn, so right now I cannot see this guy whatsoever. You can see where I spotted him at, and it's actually 40 meters right now. So I think what we're going to do is just go ahead and stand up and see if we can get him. Um, like I said, he could have moved and stuff. I really don't know if he's going to be in the same spot here. So let's just stand up, and there he is right there, still in the same spot. And we just completely missed that. That was absolutely terrible. So let's lower it just a bit. And there we go. We did get him. Now I did hear some bison over here. And there they are. Looks like they are going to be fleeing. Which is unfortunate. Um, but yeah, we did miss that first shot there. Just aimed a little bit too high, I guess. We got vitals. So let's get him picked up. And he will be a silver at 65.61. Got him in the right lung and the left lung. So that time it was good. He was actually at 31 meters. So that's just my bad there. Um, where I spotted him, he must have ended up moving and got just a little bit closer. So that's why I ended up missing there. And guess what? We have another level 3 pronghorn here. 61 to 76 for his estimates. He has a level 2 with him as well. I just don't know if we're going to be able to spot him. I think he's just kind of right behind a little hill there. But I do want to get the level 3 if we can. There were some others that were giving off some calls off in the distance as well. Um, but I want to get this guy and then kind of move on from the pronghorn. And this guy, he's actually going to be kind of coming right up on us here. Did not expect that whatsoever. So let's go ahead and just kind of stand up and get his attention here. He'll be alert and everything and we can take that shot. And we got him there. So let's see, where's that level 2 at? He actually might still be over there. Maybe he ran past. I guess, yeah, he did run past us. I didn't even see him. But here's this guy. He will be a silver. 70.02 and got him in the right lung, left lung, and the stomach. Pretty low on that shot, but we did manage to get him. That was at 21 meters there. I said I was done with the pronghorn, but we have another level 3 that came in right here. So I'm going to go ahead and take him down anyway. 56 to 71 for this one's estimates. He's about 50 meters out there. And we should be able to get him through the tree here. So let's go ahead and take that. And then, yeah, once again, we just dropped it on the spot. So I imagine he was around 51 meters or so. That's what it said. At least when he was running down the hill. So I don't know if he got a little bit closer or not. But I do want to say it was right around 50. And we have a black bear that was coming in as well. So he'll be a silver as well at 69.55. And got him in the right lung and the left lung at 46 meters. So yeah, he got just a little bit closer there. But overall, that was a really good shot. I do hear that black bear coming up on us. She may have just ran past us, though. 
So we've got a herd of bighorn sheep up ahead. We've got a level three right there, 115 to 137. This one is also a level three, 129 to 150, and he's not half bad whatsoever. That one's a level two, 89 to 111, and another level three, 109 to 130. So I would like to get the big one there. I don't know exactly what he's doing, but if he steps in front of this one, um, we will go ahead and take him. He is gonna go attentive there. So I think we'll just go ahead and get ready to get him here. So I need to switch back to the 420 grains, and yeah, let's stand up. He's about 47 meters out. But we should be able to get him, I think. And we definitely did. And fingers crossed it was a good shot. I do not know. And let's see. I thought he went down there. And he did. He officially went down. So the others are going to flee. I'm not going to worry about trying to get them or anything like that. But we definitely got him here. So let's see what he's going to score. And he will be just a silver at 132.72. And we got him in the left, left lung there at 48 meters. So um, 132.78 is gold. He was very close to being a gold. And there we have another level 3 Bighorn, 113 to 134 for his estimates. So I saw the rest of the herd coming down the hill here, and I figured I'd just camp out in the tree until one of them got close to us, and we have this guy. So we'll go ahead and aim somewhere right there, and that'll drop him on the spot. That was a fantastic shot. Now, like I said, there were some others. That's another male. He's going to be a level 2, 98 to 119, but we won't worry about him. So let's get this one picked up. And he's going to be a silver at 128.22 and got him in the left lung and the right lung at 23 meters. Like I said, that was just a beautiful shot right there into this level 3 bighorn. Okay guys, so I just called in this level 2 elk, 178 to 265. I had some over here that I was looking at. You can see them coming in right now. They are currently nervous for some reason, which I'm not sure why. Probably a um, mountain lion if I had to guess. But this guy just kind of came out of nowhere. So let's go ahead and get him before he ends up fleeing here. So we definitely got him. Now we just had to wait and see if these others actually come over here. They were nervous, so I don't even know if they'll come into the call. They were just coming back down, going wherever they were going. So we'll see if they actually get over here. And if not, we'll go get that level two. So here we have this level two elk. Those others were not interested in the caller whatsoever. I didn't think they were going to be just because they were nervous, but I did want to go ahead and give it a shot. But this guy, he came in, so I'm guessing he wasn't part of their herd. But he is a silver at 227.54. We got him in the right lung and the left lung at 18 meters. Yeah, I did not expect this guy whatsoever, so I was a little bit caught off guard there. But let's go ahead. We'll get him picked up and everything. Okay, guys, so there we have a level 7 mountain lion, 36 to 38 for his estimates. Right now, I'm trying to call him in here with the electronic caller. I was going down to this lake just over here to my left um, to hunt some mule deer since it is their drink time. When this guy was just kind of like off in the distance a little bit, so I just threw the collar down and kind of hoped for the best. And yeah, he is coming in, so I'm going to see if he's moved any here. And yeah, he's going alert right now. So I don't know if this is going to work out like I would like. He's going attentive now, so maybe he's going to go ahead and come on in. So let's see, he's about 62 meters out. I might actually go ahead and throw on the um, the rangefinder here just so I can get a good shot on him because I don't think I'm going to be able to get within like 40 meters, which is where I'm comfortable at. So let's see, where is he exactly at? He's just right there. Let's go ahead and mark that, and there's the green dots. We'll go ahead and take the shot, and we dropped him on the spot. That was awesome, so let's get over there, and we'll get him picked up. Unfortunately, most of the mule deer that were down here ended up getting spooked by a mountain lion. We do have a level three there, 183 to 244 for his estimates, but he's not going to come into the call since he is nervous, so I might end up resetting the time just so we can get them back down here at this lake. I wanted to get into that stand and like just put the collar out there in front of it and see how many we could actually get to come to it, but we do have this level seven mountain lion. Let's get him picked up. He is going to be a gold at 36.85, and we got him in the left lung, the heart, and the right lung at about 60 meters. So yeah, that was a beautiful shot on this guy with the recurve bow. We'll get him accepted, and like I said, I think I will reset the time, or not reset the time, but reset the game, and let's see if we can get some of these mule deer to kind of wrap things up today. That one spot that I was at just wasn't working out for the mule deer. The mountain lions were just ruining everything, so I decided to go ahead and come to a different zone. But we have a really decent level 4 here, 213 to 274 for his estimates, as well as some level 3s and stuff like that. That's a pretty big level 3, 193 to 254. So I have my caller just right up there on the hill. We're going to go ahead and see if we can get some of these called in. I would really like to take down that level 4 or that big level 3. It doesn't matter too much. So let's wait on them, see if they're actually going to go to it. And if they don't, we'll kind of have to reposition here and try to get that guy, which we probably could hit him if we put the rangefinder on. We could probably get him at about 75 meters. But yeah, we'll just wait on them to potentially leave their zone. I will let you know if we have a shot on them. So finally, they are coming in. Pretty much all of them have went past me here except for the level 4. We have a level 3 there, 115 to 176. And there's the big level 3. goes up to 254. But there's the level 4 that I want to take down. He's 50 meters out right now. If we can get him down to like 45 or even just 40 meters, I'll feel very comfortable with just taking him down. But right now, he is just kind of chilling, which honestly is to be expected. He's the biggest one. He's not going to want to come in just straight away. 
So he's at 46 right there. We might go ahead and get ready here. Just stand up and everything, or at least stay crouched. And yeah, let's get the bow. So let's see, is he still being calm? He is calm, which is good. The rest of them should also just stay calm as well. They're kind of moving off to the other side anyway. And yeah, I think we'll go ahead and just potentially take this shot here. And we definitely hit him, and he's going to be going down 50, 75, 25. He is not getting very far whatsoever, so we'll go ahead and turn that collar off really quickly, just because it does get quite annoying. And yeah, let's go ahead and get this guy picked up. So he will be a gold at 238.89, and we got him in the left scapula, left lung, and the right lung at 44 meters. So a little bit high there. We were also elevated up on the hill, so that might explain that. But at 44 meters, um, we definitely got in there in the double lung. So yeah, I think that's going to do it here for this video. So I really do hope you enjoyed it. Um, I had fun hunting with the bow. Um, we didn't use the collar a ton, but a lot of the species that we were hunting, especially in the beginning with the bison and the pronghorn, they don't have a call anyway. So we just didn't need it. But I really do hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Do all that stuff. It really does help out the channel. I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.